I'm here in the Malaysian state of Sabah on the island of Borneo. And if you look around me, it looks like I'm standing in a beautiful, vast green uh, landscape. But actually, this is a oil palm plantation, which you can think of really as like a cornfield equivalent in Borneo. It's a monoculture, just vast stands of trees that are grown for the oil in the palm fruit. And that oil is a really common ingredient in many of the products that we buy in the supermarket, from snack foods to beauty products, even in the pastries that we buy when we get our morning latte at Starbucks. But producing all this palm oil comes at a huge price for the biodiversity of tropical rainforests. Huge tracts of rainforests have been destroyed to create these plantations. But the good news is there are ways to grow palm oil that doesn't impact tropical forests to the same degree. So we really encourage consumers to use their voices to tell companies that we want deforestation free palm oil. So we've been driving through a palm oil plantation and we found these um, clumps of palm fruit that have just been harvested. So this is what it looks like. These are the individual fruits that they then take to the refinery, get the oil out of it, and send it everywhere all over the world to make all those food products that we like to eat. But it's pretty interesting to see. Just you drive through here and it's just mile after mile after mile of these beautiful palm trees, but um, making a very important food crop. And hopefully we can figure out a way to do this and still keep wildlife safe. Here's the mill and there's a whole line of trucks waiting with their fruit. It's really our duty to raise our voices for all the amazing creatures that have no voice. Animals like clouded leopards and gibbons and elephants that rely on tropical forests for their home. <laughs>